is the end of an era for a decades old Long Island business. Maybe you and your family have been there. The bowling alley in Patchogue now closing for good. News 12's Christine Nsinga spoke with the heartbroken owners tonight. Bowl Long Island of Patchogue was a hot spot for birthday parties, fundraisers, and even your favorite weekly league. They've been closed since before COVID, but we're getting ready to reopen until they recently learned that just wasn't going to happen. The Eggert family has owned Bowl Long Island of Patchogue since 2008. They were heartbroken to learn last month that they would have to close their doors for good. Robert, maybe most of all. He put his heart and soul into this place. Our kids grew up here. When Rob says bowling is in his blood, he means it. My father was a pin boy in the 40s, you know, when there was no automated setters. Even my third cousin, Andy Vera Papper, you know, he is known as the greatest uh, spare shooter ever to live. To have the opportunity back in 2008 to, to own my own bowling center, was uh, it's like a dream. His family lived that dream until March 16th, 2020, when they had to close their doors due to COVID. And during that time of COVID, we found that we had damage to the bowling center, our roof. They thought it was a small amount of damage damage at first, but that wasn't the case. And the insurance company, he says, was dragging its heels. Now I went into the winter and it literally cost me well over $10,000 a month to be closed. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, it started depleting my uh, own bank accounts, my family bank accounts, and it was really trying for us. Finally, things began to fall into place. They had big plans to finally reopen this January. Then Rob received a letter from the property owner saying they were selling it. It's just shocking. It was a big part of this community, and there's a lot of people that love coming here, felt that it was their home. I've been in this bowling alley since I'm seven, so being 20 now, it's, it's, I've made so many memories, so many friendships. It's, um, it's like a second home, and I'm uh, going to miss it. The owners say all that's left to do now is sell the content of what's inside and say goodbye one final time. In Patchogue, Christine Nensing on News 12, Long Island.